So last time we kind of went through red flags a little bit, but, you know, some of these things may be triggering to some of my listeners and to that I say too fucking bad. That's kind of what I said on on the last last, uh, episode we did. So going into a couple of the flags, I know that one of them is definitely the uh, the parental challenges that some women have, right? Some they either have daddy issues or mommy issues. So sure. go into go into a little bit as to why that's so troubling for someone for a guy looking to date somebody with those issues. Well, it's it starts with a premise. I think that you're a strong, virtuous leader of a man, right? Because if you're some plugged in beta male that's just like you know goes with what the uh, cultural narratives happen to be at that time. Um, none of these things are going to make a difference for, you know, if we're being honest, this is for guys that don't want to invite chaos or chaotic women into their life, uh, because they lead and they have the capacity to choose, you know, let's be honest. A lot of guys don't have the capacity to choose. And the first girl that touches her PP, they want to, you know, get husband and wife things going on. So, um, you can't have a relationship with any of these women that have any of these red flags that I talk about in this list. And by the way, you can get this list for free by opting into my email uh, list if you go to my website at richcooper.ca. Um, but these are the things that popped up the most often. I think I put daddy issues at the top simply because it's just, it's not good. I mean, if you're a strong, virtuous, masculine type of guy, you're a leader, you're putting a dent in the universe, you know how to make bank, you're captivating, you're influential, you're not a boring guy, you've got a good social network. The last thing you want to do is deal with a woman that doesn't respect uh, a man. I think the strongest influence in a woman's life is her father and the sort of role that he plays in the world for you that she uses to assess the world is incredibly important. Um, I would uh, recommend all guys contemplating a woman on a long-term basis uh, be comfortable in the sense where they would sit down and just hang out with their girl's dad for hours and have a conversation about anything and be totally fine and comfortable. That's a good sign. A woman that didn't have a father around, the first thing they always say, well, how is that my fault? Maybe that's true. It could have been um, he was a loser and he ran off. It could have been, um, you know, mom pushed him out of the household uh, and he and it was just intolerable and he just decided to stay out of the way. Uh, either way, it potentially may not be her fault, but it would be her fault if she carried the baggage into perpetuity. You know, a lot of women will just um, want to carry the victim card and want to be like, oh, poor me. Um, I'm this poor victim. Things aren't fair. And that's one of the red flags, you know, by the way, is, you know, women with a victim mindset. Um, so being able to work on any deficiencies that they have personality wise or baggage wise, I think is incredibly important. But it's pretty common now. I think most guys understand that women that don't have a good relationship with their father uh, tend to have daddy issues. They tend to have uh, BPD, uh, borderline personality disorder. Um, they tend to have abandonment issues. Often they'll act out in ways uh, with men in relationships that will ensure abandonment um, just because of their behavior and the way they behave. So yeah, sure. You know, you can have a relationship with one of these gals, but it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be uh, comfortable. She won't be a compliment to your life. It'll be difficult. It'll be more difficult than a woman that doesn't have daddy issues that has a good relationship with her dad. For sure. <laughs> Definitely. It's just, I, I think when you, and you brought it up, someone who say the mother kicked the father out of the house, maybe he was an alcoholic or he just yeah. wasn't a good parent. Maybe he was abusive. So uh, uh, an obvious response to that from women who might have had this growing up is they would say, okay, well, this wasn't exactly my fault. What would you say to them if a woman came to you, came on your show, Rich, and said, hey, I, you know, I grew up with a father that just really wasn't good to any, to, to me nor my siblings. Does that mean I don't deserve love? You know, what, what should I do about it? What would you kind of say to her? Well, I think one of the fundamental problems that arise out of that situation is Mom's got to take some of the blame for this too, right? Because she chose dad. For you sure. Know, she like he didn't accidentally fall in her and nut in her. Like there was a there was a conscious decision making process that they went through, and she decided to say, you "Just go in me; it's safe" or whatever. Um, so there's got to be some ownership taken for the decisions that she made with who she chose as the child's father. The problem that I've noticed with a lot of these women that choose terrible men as fathers for their children is they often spend a, a good part of the children's formative years going on about how 
men ain't shit. Woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. You got to go out and, you know, make sure that you don't have to rely on anybody. You got to get a degree or three, um, make sure you have a career. Um, and I think that a lot of these single parent households, um, you know, where moms didn't have a father around and they had to raise a kid by themselves is unfortunate. Uh, but it's the reality of the world that we deal with. And I think it's, it's, it's probably what has formed a lot of the, uh, single women today that are well into their thirties, forties, and fifties that are all boss girls and career women. And, you know, they've got their Ikea furniture and their Tesla and their degrees on the walls, usually with some student debt as well. Um, but they don't have a man in their life and they're unhappy and they're single because they prioritize themselves and didn't really do the work to be a good complement in a relationship. Um, so again, it, like at the end of the day, once you're an adult, whether you're a man or woman, it doesn't matter to me, but once you're an adult, and you realize that there's deficiencies, if you want to take ownership for them, you should work on them. You know, there's people that can walk you through that sort of stuff. I don't do that. That's not my area of expertise. I'm not a specialist in that area, but there are trained uh, practitioners that, that that deal with trauma, childhood trauma. And mm -hmm. um, dealing with the baggage, I think is incredibly important. But um, I think one thing that a lot of guys have noticed as they sort of deal with women, you know, as they get older, um, there's a lot of gals out there that, that carry around a lot of baggage, you know, they never, they, and they just never get rid of that luggage. Right. Yeah. It's, it's very hard to look in the mirror and that's why it's very interesting that you have so many, I, I definitely tend to find this more common with women who end relationships. They'll always mm -hmm. throw out the, the toxic, uh, oh, my dad was like this to my mom or, you know, right. my mom you know, or my stepdad or my mom's boyfriends or whatever it happens to be, it's like, okay, well, there's a common denominator here, right? I mean, you know what I mean? You chose this person. If yeah. you continue to choose the same people and they keep and you end up getting the same results, I think uh, Albert Einstein's insanity definition kind of reigns Correct. true. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.